All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we're gonna talk about why your fig tree isn't fruiting and how to fix that. In fact, this is actually probably the most common question that I get. People message me all the time on my blog, my YouTube channel, I get emails, messages, you name it, about why their fig tree isn't fruiting. And usually people will include photos, uh, show me the pictures of their trees, their leaves, and I just always see the same common thread. But it's not really what you think. It's, it's not water or a lack of water. It's not usually a lack of health. It's not a lack of sunlight or fertilizer or this or that, that a lot of you guys probably would immediately think about. It's actually something called hormones, plant hormones. Yes, I'm, I'm not kidding. Plants actually have hormones as well. I've talked a lot about them here on this channel and actually I've written up a detailed article that's a companion guide to this video I highly recommend you guys check it out. The link will be in the description. You can go right to my blog and read into more detail and depth about what we're talking about today. But the hormones are really critical in all fruiting plants, not just, and flowering plants too, not just the fig tree. In fact, when we think about how to encourage other fruit trees to, to actually fruit and flower, the main thing that people actually talk about is actually pruning. And that's why I have my pruning shears with me today. Because one of the things that people say is actually to do summer pruning. And that the, not necessarily how much pruning you do, but actually the timing in which you do your pruning makes a big difference. And that if I come in here to these cherry trees that you see, and I do this summer pruning technique where I remove about a third to even a half of the new growth, these trees are going to be more likely to fruit the following season. And it's pretty brain dead. All we do is just go around to all the branches of the trees and remove about a third to a half of that new growth. Believe it or not, this tricks the trees into having a different balance of hormones that encourages them not to grow a lot next year, but to actually flower and fruit the next year. Now it may take a couple year or two with these cherry trees because of the way that they fruit, but the fig is no different. And that if we can actually come in here during the summer, we would encourage our fig trees to fruit and flower. But we don't summer prune fig trees. And everybody knows that if you have a fig tree, we don't summer prune them because the weird thing about fig trees is that they actually produce fruit on the new growth of the season. So if I came in here to this cherry tree and I removed all the new growth, well, that would be like removing all the cherries off the tree. So we can't do the same thing with the fig. But maybe, you know, after actually the fig tree fruits and it's done fruiting, if you guys live in really long season, season climates, like Southern California, really hot and dry places, you can come in actually after they fruit and prune them really far back. And that can actually encourage them to put out a second flush of growth, will then produce even more figs, believe it or not. But typically, again, we're not summer pruning fig trees. And the only real pruning that we do is actually during the winter time. But if we winter prune our fig trees, the balance of hormones, instead of shifting towards flowering, it shifts towards growing. And that's what causes our trees to have this issue, is that balance of hormones. The fig, because of this, is really particular about its hormones. Now, I've seen fig trees that can fruit in six to eight months from cutting. You put a cutting in the ground, six to eight months later, you got a lot of figs on your tree. Uh, I've seen them, many of them fruit in the first year, the second year, the third year. Uh, it's pretty rare that we have a fig tree that isn't fruiting by the third, fourth, or fifth year. And if that's the case with your tree, I get this all the time. Ross, I have a big, beautiful, just lush, gorgeous, it's just the best looking fig tree, but all it does is grow. It doesn't fruit and it's X amount of years old, this is probably why. And that we're doing the wrong kind of pruning. Either the timing is off, it's the wrong kind of pruning, which I'll discuss in a minute, or it's actually the fact that you have a lot of winter damage. Yes, the winter is the same thing 
as pruning our trees. So if our, the winter comes in, brings these branches back, it's the same thing as winter pruning. The trees have no idea of the difference. All they know is that they lost some of their limbs and they lost them in a particular order, in a particular way. And so what happens if we have, here's how you prune a fig tree in the winter time to ensure that you're gonna have successful fruit set the next year. So keeping the trees in balance, we have two different ways we can prune them. And my fingers here are gonna be the example. So we have heading cuts. That's the first style of pruning that probably most of you guys have done to date. And that you take your pruning shears and you just cut across a certain height and you make the cut all the way across the top. Just like I did with these cherry trees. I cut out a third of the growth. I cut out a half of the growth. We took a chainsaw and just leveled all the trees out <laughs> at a certain height. How many of you guys have done that? Um, you cut them at chest height or waist height or whatever it is and you just bring them all the way far back. That's gonna be a recipe for disaster for getting your fig tree to fruit the next year. Now, I'm gonna say this, it doesn't necessarily mean that it won't fruit next year because I've done this to my trees plenty of times. Some of you guys watching right now have done this to your trees plenty of times. But it's a balance of hormones. And so even though we can still chop them really far back, doesn't always mean it's gonna result in zero fruits, but it's gonna result in zero fruits more likely than not. It depends on the tree that you have, the structure of your tree, the age of your tree, the variety of your tree, the climate that you're living in. There are so many factors that go into that. Uh, but generally speaking, doing that kind of pruning is gonna result, result in less fruit set next year and years in the future. Now, the other kind of pruning is actually thinning cuts, where we come in here and we actually remove the one in the middle. And we bring this, by the way, all the way as far back as we can. And you leave the other two alone. You do not top them. You do not head them back. You leave them alone. So if we remove the one in the center and we bring that all the way back, that can be a way we can control the height. Because a lot of people will struggle. Well, Ross, if I don't want to prune my fig tree, um, or if I'm doing the wrong kind of pruning, what if I just leave it alone? Well, if you leave it alone, actually, you're going to have a more higher chance, believe it or not, that it's going to fruit. But if you have to do any pruning and you have to bring back the height of your tree, you want to do thinning cuts. And that starts always down here at the base of our trees or the scaffolds of our trees. You remove one of those arms, you remove one of those trunks all the way down at the soil line as far down as you can. And that usually is going to be the longest, tallest one. You take that out, a new one comes up in its place, and you just continue this recycling process. But in that way of pruning, you're not destroying the hormones, that balance of hormones that needs to be in place for your trees to be productive. I'll tell you this, if you cut your fig tree all the way back to 6 to 12 inches, some amazing things can happen. If you cut your fig tree back really far, just in general, you can get figs that grow insanely quickly. So this might be a good thing, depending on what you guys are trying to do. But back over here on this southern plot that I have, I've been cutting my fig trees back to six to 12 inches for years. And you may not be able to recognize it now, but I have branches in here that were eight to 10 feet tall at the beginning of this season. Because we cut them back last spring all the way to the base, or the winter came in here and did it for us. And that's usually what's happening here with the people I see that don't have productive fruit trees or fig trees. They have the wrong kind of pruning that they're doing. They're letting the winter come in here, damage and cut the trees for them. And the only way to get this problem fixed is to protect your fig tree throughout the winter time for one season, just one growing season get it through the winter time without any damage. That way it doesn't do this heading cut process for you. You protect it through the winter time with zero damage. The next year it's much more likely to fruit. If it still doesn't fruit at that point, you probably just have to be a little bit patient because your variety just takes a little bit more time than other varieties to actually fruit. And I have a couple in here, just like the ones over there, even though we've protected those trees in the Southern plot that I mentioned, 
There is about five or six trees in there that will not fruit this year, even though we did exactly what we needed to do and the lessons that I'm giving you today, we have to be patient. And the other way we get them to fruit is again, doing that right kind of pruning, not the heading cuts, but instead thinning cuts. And if you can get away with it, consider doing some summer pruning. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please check out that blog post I mentioned. We'll see you for the next video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Take care.